So in the last video I showed you how to add some numbers and if we add the twos complement versions of the numbers then we end up getting the right result. And you know if if that's the level you want to understand it then great that's that's the level I understood it for a long time just twos complement add it out pops the right number who cares why it works it works and we're good. But in this video I want to demystify why it works if you're that curious let's keep rolling with it. I have here the table I had in the previous video. It starts 0 and then goes 1 and then 0, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 1 and just counts up in binary. Again, I have the unsigned values here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I have the two signed integer value here, like I did in the previous video. It goes 0, 1, 2, 3, but then we jump to this weird negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. So it's kind of weird. I, it might feel a little uncomfortable to use 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Okay. Let's look at this next table. What I, what I did with this table, if we can picture this table, any column of this table, if you could picture it as being on one of those wheels, those dials, so to say, in your car odometer, where it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way up to 9 up here. So we have this wheel, so to say, from your uh, odometer. All right. Well, we have an odometer here. It's in these columns on the tables. All right. There's two... Uh, versions of the wheel. There's the unsigned version that goes from 0 to 7. So if you could picture this row, these rows being on this kind of dial here. or all, And then the, the same goes true for these signed values. These these are on the same dial. Okay, So we start, if you think we start at negative 4 and then it wraps back around to 0, 1, 2, 3. So what I, what I did with the dial here is I, I cranked it. I, I turned it by with my hand and I turned it let's say we go up I, I I rolled it until four negative four went to the top right here well if negative four moves up and rolls up this four rolls with it and this one zero zero rolls with it so that row just moved to the top right well this row wasn't far behind negative three followed with five and one zero one and negative two followed with six one one zero and so on and so forth so basically if you look at this table right here, it's friendly to look at from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a nice kind of number line. It's a short number line, but still a nice kind of number line. Let's look at this table here. Well, it rolls from negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's shifted from from these values here, but but this this table is more friendly to look at from the signed values, negative 4, up to three, but either way, the 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 rows are still the same, the values are still the same. Just picture them being on that dial, and that dial is actually going to turn out handy because I'm going to show you why this two's complement works out works out very nice. Okay, so here we go. Let's, let's get our pencil again, and I want to add some values like we did in the previous video, but I want to see how adding affects uh, affects the the way we walk this table. I'm going to pick 2 and I'm going to pick negative 4. And I can only pick numbers that are in my range here from negative 4 to 3. Well, 2 is in my range and negative 4 is in my range. So let's let's do uh, 2. I'm going to write them out here just to reference. And then I also want to write the unsigned values on the left. So the unsigned value of 2 is 2. That's no surprise there because the signed values match the unsigned values. Uh, but then we have to have a negative 4's unsigned value. Well, it's paired up with 4. That's not always the case. 5's paired up with negative 3, 6 paired up with negative 2. Just so happens that 4 pairs up with itself. So I'm going to put that there. All right, so what is what is 2? Well, looking at 2, it's 0, 1, 0. No surprises there. That should be, we should be used to that by now. And then negative 4 is 1, 0, 0. Okay, 1, 0, 0. All right, now we're going to add. It's important that you understand we're going to add. If I subtract, oops, let me erase that. If I subtract values, I'm going to walk backwards. But with adding, we always walk forwards. Let me show you the walk backwards first. All right, if I start at 2 and I walk backwards four steps, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and end up at negative 2, like I would expect. But we're not subtracting. Walking backwards is subtracting. I am adding. All right, let me put the addition sign there. We're adding a negative 4, or in unsigned land, we add 2 plus 4. Okay, so let's, 
Let's do this. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. All right, this is our result. Well, what is this result in unsigned land? Well, this looks like, to me, it's a 6. I can verify that. I could calculate it in my head, which I hope you do, but I can also verify that by looking at this table. So 2 plus 4 is 6, which is nice. If I start at 2 and I move forward 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, I end up at 6. Okay, elementary school. Glad I learned that. I remember counting paper clips. All right, now let's take 2 here. Now, notice we moved forward 4. I'm going to go to sign land, signed land, and I'm going to move forward four. All right, so we start at two, we move forward one, but in order to move forward to the next one, remember this is a dial, so we just wrap back around. So one, wrap, two, three, four. Well, what number did we end up at? We ended up at negative two, which is the same as two plus negative four is negative two. Huh? Kind of nice, huh? Kind of nice. Let's do let's do another one. Okay, clear this off. Let's do negative one plus three. So negative one plus three. All right, and then uh, well let's let's first of all grab the binary values. So negative ones, two's complement over here is one 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 one, and then plus three. Well three is zero zero one one. All right, and then let's take the unsigned values as well. So, so this three here, or three, yeah, is still three. So this is a three. But then the negative one in signed world is seven. So, hopefully you can see that seven plus three ends up being ten, which is out of the range of our numbers. We have some overflow, is what it's called. Or we rolled over. It's not legit. All right, but let, let's just let's let's see how this works with two's complement here. I'm going to say one plus one is. 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1, well, that's 1, but we still have to carry another 1. And then 1 plus 1 is 0. And then look at this, we have carry. All right, I told you we only have a 3-bit register. So we kind of lose this value. Now, is it a problem? Is it a problem? I'll get, I'll get to that in a minute. Let's, let's look at negative 1 here, though. I'm going to start at negative 1, and I'm going to move forward 3. So 1, 2, 3. Well, where do we end up? We end up at 2. So negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So we get the right answer, but we had this overflow happen. So I'm going to talk about the overflow in another video, but essentially, if I if we walk this, this uh, walk like we're doing here, over here, you can imagine negative 1, 3, negative 1 plus 3, okay? So negative 1, but we got to go forward 3. Well, in order to go forward, okay, that's an arrow, we need to wrap back around the wheel up here. So negative 1 plus 3, well, 1, 2, 3. That brings us to 2 there as well. So if, if all I gave you was this table on the left, it'd feel a little uncomfortable how the 2's complement. We, we add and it just works. The addition works. Well, it doesn't just work. We, we're pretty much walking around this, this wheel here, and it makes more sense when I line it up from the very bottom of the range to the very top of the range. But either way, as long as we don't walk out of this range, meaning we walk off the end to 4 here, or 5, 6, or, or we end up subtracting where we have negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. As long as our addition and subtractions keep us in this, in this wheel here, then we're okay. It's when we get out of this wheel that we start to have some issues. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this overflow in the next video and when it's bad and when it's okay.